What are the burning fashion questions you've been asking? Well, we're going to dive into that right now. First question is from Jane. I would love you to advise me about what type of trousers I need to have in my wardrobe. I only wear jeans and leggings, but would love to try different trousers. Well, that is a great question. And there are a lot of trouser options out there for you. There are chino pants. There's corduroys. There are dress pants and ponte knit pants. Those are very comfortable. They look really good on. They give you a very dressy look, even though you are extremely comfortable and casual. <laughs> and you can even look for trousers. There are new trousers out there in wider legs. So they've got pleats in the front and they are very chic and updated. You wear them with a fitted top and then kind of a chunky sole shoe. They are really modern and on trend. So there are so many trouser options out there for you. You don't have to just stick with jeans or leggings. The next question comes from Valerie. She says, I'd like to see your skincare routine. And actually I did a whole video here on my skincare routine. You can check it out. I show you all the products that I use and what I wear in the morning, what I wear at night, and I cover it all. So Go check that out. Okay, this question is from Janet. I noticed that you are wearing bright that you wear bright pink. Do you wear pink in the fall? Is it because you're still experiencing warmer weather in Southern California? Do you wear it year round? I think pink is a spring and summer color. Is it a fall color? Okay, that a lot to unpack, but we're going to cover it. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I am wearing pink today. I've actually broken my capsule wardrobe rule. This is the first time in two and a half months I've put on anything that is not in my capsule wardrobe, just because so many of you have said you've missed my pinks. So I thought I'd put on this nice cozy pink wrap. This is a great item that you could wear year round. And I do think pink can be worn all year round. The key is with pink is that you want to look at how saturated it is. So you can go for lighter, brighter pinks in the spring and summer, but look for deeper, darker fuchsias and more saturated colors for the colder months. Those are gonna play really well off of all those dark fall colors. Okay, the next question, is from Michelle. She asks, can you do a video on buying older women clothes on Amazon that look classy and classic at a price that is reasonable? Well, I have got you covered. I did a whole Amazon here using their Amazon basics. I think the products are really wonderful. And I put together an entire capsule wardrobe for you. They've made it really easy to shop Amazon. Like the it used to be so overwhelming, but now if you go and look for the Amazon Basic or the Amazon Amazon Essentials, you will find a really great selection of pieces. And there are links to all of those products in that video that I've linked here. Okay, I had a video that featured Anna Wintour. This question is or comment is from Jeanette. She says, I noticed this video with Anna Wintour. She's the editor of Vogue. If you Google and follow her, you know she doesn't wear what's the newest fad on the runway. She attends many runway shows, but she always looks great. She knows what looks good on her, and that's what she wears. And Jeanette, that is such a great uh, thing to notice and point out that I felt like it was really important to mention here. That is what this is all about, is knowing your style. I mean, you see Anna Wintour usually in dresses, like 90% of the time, and a lot of times with a really gorgeous necklace that coordinates with the dress and very polished, sophisticated. She hasn't changed her hairstyle in years. She wears those big glasses. They've all become signature pieces for her. And I think that really speaks volumes. So that is the same thing. Own your pieces, love them, buy quality, and let your style show through. And it will stand the test of time. You don't have to stay up on all of the trends to look on trend and lovely and gorgeous. So thanks Jeanette for bringing that up. Okay, this one is from Patty. She says, I'm 54, I'm not ready to think about retiring from an amazing career as an elementary school teacher. I see aging as a negative end. Your perspective is appreciated. I have taken your advice for dressing my age, especially what flatters my figure. That is so good, but I really, there's a piece in here that I really wanna talk about. And I think so many of us women look at this aging as a negative end. And I don't think that has to be the situation at all. We are changing and growing. I remember my 
40s were rough. I don't know about you. If the, if your 40s were rough, put that in the comments. My 30s were great. My 20s were great. The 40s, even though it seemed like I had everything, they were some rough years in there. We went through a lot in the 40s. In, for me, I went through a lot in my 40s. And once I hit my 50s, even though I was still dealing with menopause and some other life changes, my 50s has been really nice and really enjoyable. And I think there are different things to embrace at all ages. And just because you are getting older and things might be not be the same anymore, there's still so much life in you. And I just saw this thing. It was a for a Martha Stewart masterclass. It popped up on my YouTube feed. And she said she started her company at 50. And if that is not a testament that you have so much life in you and you can keep going, I don't know what is. There are so many things that you can explore. And even if you do retire, think of, okay, this is my next opportunity to do something absolutely amazing that I couldn't do when I was teaching. So I wish you the best with that. I want you to be happy be your whole life through and I want you to keep exploring and growing no matter where you are in your life. Okay this one is from Josie. It talks about the skincare routine and one of the things in that skincare video that I did was I talked about I hated washing my face because I couldn't stand having the water run all over me and then I started using a product that just you put it on and then you wipe it off with a damp washcloth and I'm not getting all wet there's no water running down my arms but here's what she has to say I was like you. I hated to splash water on my face for the same reason. However, even with a soft washcloth, it's like exfoliation. And if or when I use an exfoliation product, my skin becomes too sensitive. So one day I was in the sports section of my store and saw wristbands you know, like the ones for tennis players. And I decided to use those to prevent the water from rolling down my arms. Now I love splashing water on my face and patting my skin with that washcloth. I find it less irritating and dragging. So that's from Josie. And she is not the only one to tell me about this type of product. I had others say that you can buy little, like a little wristband, headband set on Amazon that will do the same thing. So that is a great idea to get little wristbands, put them on, even if you had a you, you could throw them in the wash after you've done them just like you would do with a washcloth and then you're solving that problem of having the water run down your arms and get all over you so thanks for that awesome tip okay the next one is from marina she said several times in my life i've streamlined my wardrobe only to become awfully bored i will try it again but consider some additional items which keep me from getting bored. I tried scarves, but there might be more I could do. So if you haven't seen my pa uh, Project 333 capsule wardrobe, I'll link to it here. I even did a uh, like a follow-up to tell you what it's like, how it's going. And I have been wearing the same, this wardrobe right here, three, 33 pieces for about two and a half months. And I am not bored with it at all. I've actually really loved it. It makes getting dressed so effortless. I keep putting on different things. In fact, I think a lot of you will find this funny. I've been married for 31 years. And last weekend, my husband and I were out and I said, oh yeah, I'm doing this 33 pieces that you wear for three months and you don't change anything. And he said, what? You've been wearing the same 33 pieces? He didn't even notice. He had no idea. <laughs> so if that is not a testament to either men don't pay attention or to nobody cares about what you're wearing but you, I don't know what is. And I, like I said, I have not been bored. I think there's a few things to unpack here with that concept, Marina. When you're picking the pieces, are you making sure that the pieces mix and match with a lot of other things? Like all of these pieces, I can wear multiple ways with other pieces in the wardrobe. So I've got like lots of changing up, lots of layering, and little things that just do not get me bored. I have not missed the clothes in that closet over there one single bit and I've really enjoyed the ease of putting it together and I like your idea of switching things up with scarves you could also do that with jewelry or maybe even like I only chose one bag one plain black bag but maybe in your capsule you choose two or three bags because that's what's important to you and then you have a and if they have a nice pop of color boom your outfit will have a really nice pop of color and if you start with the basics and then you layer in some pieces that are really fun and and speak to you and then like I said some fun accessories I think 
that will really open up that wardrobe. Another thing is this pro this capsule wardrobe is not going to be for the rest of my life. This is just for three months. So I'm actually almost done with it. And I'm starting to think, okay, what else am I going to change up to? What am I going to wear next? I might keep some of these pieces. I really have enjoyed it. But what am I going to do to switch things up for the next three months? So I will keep you posted on that. And I hope you give Project 333 a try again. Okay, the next question is from Sandy. She says, I'd like to find pretty and stylish outfits to deal with my larger with larger arms. What's the right style, length, and design? Okay, so I actually this is a great topic. I already have the video scheduled. It's planned for the beginning of April, right when we're starting to peel off all these layers, show our arms, and that's when everybody decides, oh my gosh, I hate my arms. I don't want anyone to see them. So we're going to cover that. It's going to be in an upcoming video at the beginning of April. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you get the notifications so that I can let you know when that video comes out. This comment is from Sherry. She says, I'd love a nice white blouse, but white is always too sheer for my taste. Okay, so I have a couple ideas for you because as you can see, I'm wearing a white blouse. They all, all of my capsule wardrobe, I've got four white tops in there. I love wearing white blouses, shirts, you name it. I think white is such a good foundation piece for a wardrobe. So I would hate to see you miss out on that because there are so many great white options available. First thing is, are you looking for a nice thick fabric? That makes a big difference. If the fabric is not thick enough, you will it will be sheer. The second thing is, if you wear a nude or skin colored bra, or even a light pink bra, it will fade into the background and you won't even be able to see that there's a bra there. So if a bra, bra showing is an issue, don't wear white bras, wear nude colored bras and they will just disappear underneath that white shirt. Another thing you could do if you don't like the sheerness of white is wear a tank top or t-shirt underneath the blouse because I do that quite a bit. Uh, I think that looks nice to have a little t-shirt or tank top showing a little. It just gives a little layer and dimension. If you feel too exposed in a white blouse, that will help a lot to wear a, a tank top underneath. And if you like all of the things you're finding out here, I'd like to invite you to my community called the Champagne Circle. We just started a few weeks ago and we are already having such a blast in there. Right now we are planning our goals for 2024, our fashion goals. So if you'd like to join that, I will put a link in the description below. And I hope to see you in the next video.